gave you instructions downstairs. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Keep punches up. Remember, bone here on up. So punches here are fine. Okay? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. In our first fight in Rios and Alvarado, you saw the best of the blue-collar, blood-and-guts warrior side of boxing. In this fight, especially with Nemito Donaire, but also with Nishioka, we expect to see the sublime, the upper echelon of Ready. skill Ready. and speed Ready. and power that the sport has Austin. to offer. Round number one begins. Each boxer with six first-round knockouts in their career. Won't even see a shot to throw the hook. That basic target practice at it. That was a... <laughs> Nishioka believes Donaire's left hook is what he has to watch for. Donaire believes Nishioka's open for that. Starched him with a straight right hand. Yeah, well, what Donaire should do right now is throw a straight right hand to the body some. Since Nishioka has that left hand, uh, has his right hand, make him reach for the right hand, then hit him with an overhand right. That's probably with the skill level of a Donito Donaire, so, you know. And Robert Garcia, the trainer of Donaire, was thinking along with you, Roy. He said, look, he's got that right hand glued up to his head. Let's throw a straight right hand. That's there. exactly right. You got to open up something with the left hand. But Nishioka's used to winning. It's been eight years since he lost. But he is 36 years old. He contemplated retirement before this fight. Omar Narvaez was undefeated with a bunch of title defenses. He wouldn't open up against Donaire. And Nishioka so far seems intimidated by Donaire's, Donaire's power. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in before he throws anything. He's kind of smart like that. He's trying to kill this fight. He's more worried about Donaire's power. So he's respecting it so much that he's not playing. Roy, you know, Donaire's got all the weapons and all the tools and all the speed, but Nishioka's fighting so defensively. He's part of Nishioka's thinking here to get him frustrated and make him make a mistake where I can counter it. Exactly. Make him make a foolish mistake. Make him get over anxious because he knows that the crowd now wants to see activity. That's what they seen in the first fight. So if you can put in the copy box, Donaire's connects were all steps in with that right. Another there, right hand. There's a shot that I've been looking for all night because he was beating his right shoulder. And I beat his right shoulder so bad that they had to stop the fight because of injury to his right shoulder. So if I was Donaire, I'd be hooking his right shoulder. As we check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob, I've got a three to nothing, 30 to 27, no need of Donaire. I mean, as I see this fight, he's doing all the punching. The problem with Nishioka is he, he's not punching enough. And you know, Donaire opens up with a combination there. Nishioka back to that defensive shell. There's the hand speed of Donaire. So we begin round number five of the schedule, 12 rounder. Nenito Donaire opens up with a combination. Last couple fights, it looked like he tried to force things a little more, and so he didn't have the success he's having to full minded fighter. Yeah, you're right there, and uh, the only thing you gotta remember is that Nishioko is not worried about nothing but trying to Triples up the jab, shoots the right to the body, steps in with a power shot that just missed. So far, he's totally outclassing. Unless it's a pop shot, like that right hand was. That's a good jab from Nishioka. Donaire steps in with a combination. A punch. Twenty-two pounder throwing twenty-one punches. But he won't get caught by the left hook no time soon. See that left uppercut right there? Mm -hmm. That's on, the shot because he's cue. holding that right hand up. On cue. That time Donaire missed with the uppercut. Nishioka comes back with the left. 
you know, counter-punching opportunity. Great right hand by Donaire. Nishioka landed a left hand in the body. Nishioka seems like he's starting to warm up a little bit. It's cold outside. Oh, oh Nishioka down. Short shot inside. Don't air steps in. There it is again. Trying oh. to finish him. Left hand from Nishioka. Right hand over the top. Straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donaire. Now Nishioka showing something. End of six. See, because this Yoko is holding that left right hand so high on his head, Donaire got smart and came under it, and it came right between both hands with the left uppercut. Beautiful shot to sit in this, this Right hand from Donaire, and Yoko steps in with the left. Donaire counters with his left. Jab from Nishioka. Donaire jumped in with his power shot. And this Another jab from Nishioka. Yeah, he does have quick hands. You gets to fight that way. Most definitely, and because of the head speed. Count of right hand from Donaire after Nishioka lands the left. Donaire shoots a straight right. Good left hand on this hit. Yeah, he steps in with a little combination to the chin of Donaire. Donaire answers back with the right hand. He is truly a winner. He didn't come all the way over here to lose the fight. So now that he's at it, he's feeling like since I'm in here, I'm getting hit. Wow. Well, there they go, opening up power shot. Nishioka is throwing home run bombs, and he's willing to take them to try to land his own. It's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. Go there has to be careful walking in and throwing that left uppercut, too. Left hand to the body by Donaire scored. That one was blocked. Nishioka steps in with a combination. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around the Oh, oh down goes Nishioka for a counter shot. Four, five, six, seven. You sure you're okay? Eight. Coming into this body, he's been down three times in his career, down twice, and now the referee steps in and stops it. Shit on that in just a second. Here's the counter shot from Donaire, Roy. Yeah, he allowed Nishioko to open up some by backing up. And once Nishioko did, he made himself wide open for the left, for the straight right hand, which he really had been all night long had he been in the attack. But because... Ladies and gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz Sr. steps in and calls a halt at about the official time. One minute, 54 seconds of round number nine.